Good afternoon. It's Friday, January 21st, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand with your Ernerberry Market Report and food service video sponsored by NAMP's new English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, we integrate our weekly HRI food service video, a companion to Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, into our daily Friday market report. Make sure you stay tuned today for an inside look at this week's price trends and movers for the food service industry from Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, as well as an inside look at the record highs in the ground beef market. First and foremost, though, let's set the tone. In the egg market, retail demand remains good. Supplies continue to be held with confidence and have come into a better balance with demand. Demand. When completed, transactions of certified product are either supportive of existing quotations or display modest premiums to them. The market is full steady to, at times firm, liquid whole egg is wanted. Looking at poultry, in the chicken market, wogs and whole birds are struggling. Cutlets are clearing better with sellers a bit more bullish with their asking levels. Trim and chunk meats are snug and commanding full market where found. Drumsticks and other dark meat lines are getting more calls for export commitments. Wings are moving but offerings are at least adequate to meet expectations. Talking Turkey, the morning has brought with it a flurry of activity, but overall trade is still on the light side. Offerings of scapula are available at listed levels or less, with the same being true of wings. Whole bird buyers are increasingly entering negotiations with realistic expectations of paying our listed quotations or better for toms and hens, depending on the ship dates. Moving over to red meats, the boxed beef market opens with very few offering prices modified overnight. It appears that beef processors are somewhat content with the current prices for the moment and are focusing on housekeeping details prior to the weekend. A few spot market trades of ground beef collected this morning are at levels slightly above our printed sheet. In the boneless market, undertones for the leaner trimmings are a solid steady to firmer. Supplies are reportedly still tight. Fresh 50s are rated mostly steady. Availability varies from source to source. Taking a look at pork, hog buyers are expected to cast full steady to some firmer bids for hogs this morning in an attempt to attract additional supplies from what appears to be diminished marketings. As a result, trade in both direct areas and at terminal markets is expected to range steady to roughly 50 cents per hundred weight higher. Thus far, belly supplies remain well short of current needs and are likely to command further premiums if any offerings surface. Fresh trimmings are still somewhat scarce and capable of garnering additional premiums. Buyers of loins and butts have begun and continue to resist recent market prices. Items in both complexes are selling pressure, under selling pressure. Now let's take a look at record highs in the ground beef market with Erner Berry market reporters Joel Muldowney and Bruce Longo. Thanks, Joe. We're here today with Bruce Longo, one of the reporters of our coarse grind market. Bruce, what can you tell us about what's happening in, uh, in coarse grinds and ground beef? Well, Joe, coarse grinds have really been on fire lately. Um, on a daily basis, they've been setting uh, recorded historical highs. Ever since we've entered the, the first of the year, we've seen just these values on a daily basis just climb and climb, and, and um, who knows when they've reached the tops. What are some of the reasons that, uh, that, that brought us to this point, Bruce? Well, Joe, certainly we've, we've seen higher cattle costs uh, come into play with the, the higher wholesale supply cost of, of ground beef. You know, but as we look at that, really, you know, with the higher cattle price, the, the, ground, the ground beef values haven't really kept pace with the advancing cattle cost. Okay. Um, is... is is demand uh, expected to adjust? Are we, are we going to ration demand around these higher prices? Have you seen any, any type of retail, uh, retail backlash or retail reaction to these, to these new ground beef prices? Well, certainly the retail features, whether it's on their circular ads or in in-store features, have really been prominent. Uh, with the Super Bowl, for instance, coming up, which is considered as large of an event for ground beef as is the Memorial Day holiday and the Fourth of July holiday, we're seeing really stout demand at the retail uh, counter that the meat display, you know, as, as ground beef becomes a, a staple in most recipes uh, for the, the Super Bowl, which is a, a pretty big holiday event, a big party event. Now, Bruce, I know a lot of these retail ads are commonly booked uh, well in advance of the ad. Is it, uh, is, have we begun to see the, the, the change in price at retail or uh, will we? Well, 
certainly we've seen of recent, if you look at our, our retail features um, and our Comtel site, we've seen a lot of the, 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 the retail features still, you know, in, in a price point that, uh, you know, the consumer, I think, you know, would uh, be willing to, to, uh, to purchase the, the product. Whether or not they can get any further advances on these prices, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's going to be a tough one for these, given the, the economy and, uh, you know, and the overall prices of beef. You know, when you look at ground beef, ground beef is still a value compared to some of these other, other cuts of beef, um, you know, it, it, that are on the, on, the, on the market right now. Now, on the backside of, of the Super Bowl, once we hit February, um, it, it, you know, it might be tougher for the retail guy to, to hold these prices. You know, only time will tell with that. Thanks very much, Bruce. Appreciate all of your uh, information on ground beef. Back to you, Jill. Thanks, guys. Now here's market reporter James Serpico taking a look at this week's price trends and movers for the food service industry from Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide. Thanks, Jill. Uh, starting with our list of movers this week, we see that select boneless ribeyes posted decent gains in value as product has become somewhat scarce on the spot market. This is partly due to the fact that there is more cattle grading choice or better currently entering the slaughter mix thereby leaving select beef supplies adequate to barely adequate. Also, some buyers have made the switch away from choice ribeyes over, over to select grade, citing the need to drive profit margins given the price differential between two grades. Uh, renewed and rather robust interest from export markets have increased in production destined for food source orders, above average sales at retail and winter weather events across the country, created an almost ideal environment for higher pork loin market prices. Uh, Central and South American white shrimp also experienced a bump in price as they advanced by just over 4%. Uh, the decline in frozen whole turkeys can be attributed to the seasonal decline in demand following Christmas and New Year's. Supplies, however, are still tight and held with a reasonably high degree of seller confidence. That's a few of the movers this week on our HRI report. Back to you, Jill. Thank you, James. And from all of us here at Erner Berry, thank you for viewing. Don't forget to check back with us next week for our next report. That wraps up Erner Berry's food service report and mid-morning tone brought to you today by NAMM's new English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide, featuring a side-by-side Mexican-Spanish translation of the English text in the edition of the guide NAMP released last March.